So, as you guys already know, I'm fucking raspy. Again. But if I had to talk about dimple plasty one more time, I'm gonna fucking lose it. So, I'm making this video because a lot of you guys are asking me 15 years later about these stupid fake dimples. <clears throat> it wasn't 15 years. Obviously, I'm over-exaggerating like always. It's been... Oh, wait a minute. No, my son's gonna be 14. 14 years. So, I was like a year off. But without doing it again or touching my face, it looks like this. At rest. My smile, you don't really see it. It's this one. As you guys know, why am I wearing this hood? As you guys know, this one never took. So, I did dimple plasty. This is so fucking annoying, Zappa. So many times. That's the only reason why I got my buckle fat removed was because I wanted dimples so bad. And my plastic surgeon told me that no matter what I do, I just thought about something right now. Um, the dimple is just not going to take because I have fat cheek pads, right? Obviously now probably I do, but back in the day I was just skittier and more gaunt. And I didn't even do it for to make my face skinnier. I didn't even fucking do it to, you know, look more cheek bony. I just did it because I wanted dimples. Apparently, they don't last forever. This one, you could only tell if I really exaggerate my smile. Like if I really, then you can see it. But you know, the right one is already non-existent. It hasn't been existent since 14 years ago when I got the surgery, so. You guys want to know if it's worth it? It's actually not. It was a lot of recovery, maybe two, two and a half years of redoing it over and over and over, as well as doing other things to make it, oh, my alopecia sucks, to make it show. But if I really had to like sit down and talk about it, might as well just pierce it save thousands of dollars pierce it for like fifty dollars and then let it stay in your cheeks for like not even a year i heard and then let it go and then you'll have dimples see but i didn't when i had it like i'll try to insert pictures when it was really really bad it looked like i got piercings it literally looked like i pierced my cheeks and i had two big holes right here so do you want to pay thousands of dollars or do you want to just pierce your cheeks and like suffer the same way that I did? So if you guys really, really want dimples, just 50 bucks, go to a piercing place around the corner and just leave it on for a little bit. And if, honestly, like if you don't like that look for your job or whatever, just put little, those circle, little band-aids for a little bit. Cause going under, you don't know if your cheeks are gonna take it. And it just leads to more monetary expenses. It just, oh my God, I can't even speak right now. I'm gonna be so not, I wanna talk about it. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Um, but yeah, it'll just lead to more plastic surgery and things that you don't need. Um, I did get buckle fat removal a long time ago and I wish it stayed, but I think the amount of fillers that I get throughout the years just filled it. Um, so mind you, like, you're gonna have, I'm wearing foundation right now, actually for the first time in so long, but you can see the dent right there. And it's not cute, like, it's not cute to like walk around and you have like a dent on your cheek, like you're, you're deformed or whatever, right? I mean, I already feel deformed, so imagine like having that. Um, it's extremely painful. It's not worth the money. You're always gonna feel like a thread the inside of your cheek if you, see when I go like this? Like I feel the stitch, even on this side. It's like a very hard, like, like a, when you get a stitch, it's like a staple or whatever. And then it's been like 14 years. I don't understand why it's still there, but it's still there. Um, so I don't re recommend it. You know what? I'll put the link down below. There's these like dimple makers now. So it's, it's so crazy. 
simple makers, right? So you sleep on it. It's kind of like a retainer, those like really big retainers. But this one punctures like your cheek. So you put it on like a retainer and there's these two like balls, if you will, that will just pinch you. But you have to wear it all the time, every day for like months to even like see, see results. And that's just the easy way is just literally just piercing your cheek because it's not permanent. You could take it off whenever because you are going to regret it. You can ask anyone who ever had like dimple plasty, they regret spending the money. They regret how it's not coming out the way they want it, how it doesn't last. So it's just, you shouldn't even, you shouldn't even go there. The other thing I want to talk about. So 20 years ago, I was like 12, 20 years ago, I wasn't 12. I was, okay, no, 20, just forget I said 20 years ago, but when I was like 12 or 13, I was like blind. I couldn't see. So I would wear like blue contacts, gray, green contacts till about 16, 17, I just stick to like hazel and then like these like circle lenses from Malaysia. That's like, it's prescription. Now I'm like negative 7.5, but back in the day I wasn't, but like I will wait weeks and weeks and months just to get these specific lenses. They're kind of like a hazel or like a light brown or whatever, but like, anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna take a sip of wine because I can't breathe. So I always said to my mom or to people around me, like, gosh, like I wish there was the surgery where you can literally change your eye color permanently, like FDA approved. Who am I kidding? I didn't really care if it was FDA approved. I just wanted a surgery, just like I wanted those leg extensions um, to make me taller. Like I wanted my eyes to be permanently like bigger and this color. And at the same time, I can see better all in one. So that never really existed. So I was just like, oh, I wish this, I wish that. And then now it's like FDA approved. You literally, it takes 30, it takes 30 minutes. Of course, they have to check your eyes. You probably, well, in my case, I would probably need to have like LASIK um, so I can see and then um, permanently color my eyes. It's so amazing. I've seen some studies already and then it's pretty successful. Not you don't really go blind. Well, with my luck, I'll probably go blind and lose like my fucking eyeballs. But I've been waiting for this. My extension is in my mouth. I've been waiting for the surgery. You guys, oh my God. I've been waiting for the surgery for like decades. And then everyone around me was like, that is so, un who in the right mind would even wanna go through that or what optometrist or surges, surgeon wants to even go through that and like risk their license to permanently color someone's eyes. Isn't that like bizarre? And it, if you guys know my story, I always wanted to look like a doll. I always wanted to look like Sailor Moon. I wanted to have long hair and look like a doll. Right, like, like all the time. Hold on. <laughs> 